California was lashed by powerful winds Wednesday that fed a fast-moving wildfire, which destroyed dozens of homes and forced thousands of residents to flee as forecasters warned of the potential for extreme and life-threatening blazes. Northwest of Los Angeles, the mountain fire exploded in size and prompted evacuation orders for more than 10,000 people as it threatened 3,500 structures in suburban communities, ranches and agricultural areas around Camarillo, according to a statement from Governor Gavin Newsom. The erratic winds and limited visibility grounded fixed-wing aircraft. Meanwhile, another fire burned near multi-million dollar properties along the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu. The National Weather Service has amended its red flag warning for increased fire danger with a rare, particularly dangerous situation label. A small jet crashed into a vehicle Tuesday after taking off from a suburban Phoenix airport, killing five people, police said. The plane crashed while taking off from Falcon Field Airport in Mesa, police there said in a statement. The Hyundai Che 420 light business jet struck the vehicle outside airport property at 4.40 p.m., according to the Federal Aviation Administration. Television news video showed what appeared to be a large fire on a road near the airport. Five people were confirmed dead at the scene, police said. Authorities said five people were aboard the plane but didn't specify whether they all died or whether anyone in the vehicle may have been among the victims. The FAA, the National Transportation Safety Board and Mesa authorities will investigate. No further information was released.
Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Tuesday that the first battles with North Korean soldiers open a new page of instability in the world. Speaking in his nightly video address, Zelensky thanked everyone in the world who reacted to the deployment of North Korean soldiers in Russia. Together with the world, we must do everything to make this Russian step to expand the war, to really escalate it, to make this step a failure," added Zelensky. Ukrainian troops have for the first time engaged with North Korean units that were recently deployed to help Russia in the war with its neighbor, Ukraine's defense minister said Tuesday. Another Kiev official said Ukraine's army fired artillery at North Korean soldiers in Russia's Kursk border region. The comments were the first official reports that Ukrainian and North Korean forces have engaged in combat, following a deployment that has given the war a new complexion as it approaches its 1,000-day milestone. Neither claim could be independently confirmed. The Ukrainian and North Korean troops engaged in small-scale fighting that amounted to the start of Pyongyang's direct involvement in Europe's biggest conflict since World War II, Ukraine's defense minister Rustam Yumarov told South Korea's public broadcaster KBS in an interview. North Korean soldiers are mixed with Russian troops and are misidentified on their uniforms, Yumarov was quoted as saying by KBS. That makes it hard to say whether there were any North Korean casualties, he said. Yumarov reportedly said he expects that five North Korean units, each consisting of about 3,000 soldiers, will be deployed to the Kursk area. Meanwhile, Andriy Kovalenko, the head of the counter-disinformation branch of Ukraine's Security Council, said, the first North Korean troops have already been shelled, in the Kursk region. He provided no further details. Western governments had expected that the North Korean soldiers would be sent to Russia's Kursk border region, where a three-month-old incursion by the Ukrainian army is the first occupation of Russian territory since World War II and has embarrassed the Kremlin. U.S., South Korean and Ukrainian intelligence assessments say up to 12,000 North Korean combat troops are being sent by Pyongyang to the war under a pact with Moscow. Північно-корейських солдатів і хто відреагував не тільки словами, але й готує через це відповідні дії на підтримку нашого захисту тут в Україні. Терор, на жаль, може поширюватись як вірус, коли не зустрічають достатньої протидії. Зараз протидія має стати достатньою. Першими боями з північно-корейськими солдатами відкривається нова сторінка нестабільності у світі. Ми маємо разом зі світом зробити все, щоб цей російський крок на розширення війни, на справжню ескалацію, щоб цей його крок став програшним. І для нього, і для Північної Кореї.